Lady Whistledown has all but declared me ineligible. Whistledown. 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 Bridgerton season one was such a huge success for Netflix that they already renewed the show all the way up to season four. Season two hasn't started shooting yet, but the series is based off of a series of books by Julia Quinn. We do have an idea of what we can expect next. Who will we focus on? Will there be more beasts? Will Lady Whistledown be exposed? We might have the answers for you. This is what to expect for Bridgerton season two. Warning, massive spoilers ahead. Before we get started, please remember to give this video a like if you enjoy it, subscribe to our channel and turn on the notifications. That way you will never miss a thing. The release date for season 2. Sadly we don't know when we will see Bridgerton season 2 yet. They haven't even confirmed when they will start to produce it definitely. They just said that it would be in the spring in England. So that means it could start to shoot at any moment. But that still doesn't mean we will be seeing new episodes in only a month or two. Production can take months. Shooting some parts can take a long time to film and with all the new regulations that production companies have to follow it might take even longer. The show isn't just ready right after being filmed. A lot of hours of post-production edits and changes go into the show before it is ready. That means we might only see the next season as far as in 2022. I'm hoping that it won't take that long, but I guess to create the magical show we've come to expect, it does take some time, and I'm sure that it will be worth the wait. We will also only see a preview for the show around a month before it airs. Who will this season be focused on? Season 1 gave us the incredible story of Daphne Bridgerton and Simon Bassett, how they fell in love and got married, and how eventually they conquered the issues that they had in their marriage. This followed the events of the first Bridgerton book, The Duke and I. Season 2 is going to focus on the second book in the series called The Viscount Who Loved Me. This book is all about Anthony, the eldest Bridgerton son. He is the head of the Bridgerton family, and he takes his responsibilities very seriously, but he also has his own set of issues that he needs to overcome. He decides to marry, and since he believes he deserves the best, he sets his cap for the diamond of the season, Edwina. The only problem is that he didn't plan on her fiercely protective sister, Kate. She does not care about a man's title, just about how he would treat her sister. It will be an enemies to lovers type story. Anthony is very stubborn, he always thinks he is right, and he believes that his station gives him the authority that forces everyone to listen to him. He also believes that he could have any woman he wants and that no woman would ever be able to say no to him. Kate is also stubborn, but she would give her life to protect her sister from getting hurt, and she believes that Anthony will hurt Edwina for sure. So she does everything that she can to keep him away from Edwina. This results in Anthony and Kate forming a deep dislike of each other, but their passion is stronger than their dislike, and the sparks fly. They are thrown together and I am sure their relationship is going to give us hours of entertainment. Simon Ashley will play Kate. The actress who is well known for her role in sex education is going to play the part of the spunky and fierce Kate. This character is coming to give Anthony as much of a hard time as she can on her way to win his heart. I can't wait to see the arrogant Anthony crumble and meet his match in every possible way in Kate. All of the bees will be explained. Right through season 1 we saw bumblebees in various scenes of the show. Right at the start of the first episode we saw a bee on the doorknob. Then there were various decorative bees on a number of the Bridgerton siblings' clothes. And right at the end of the show, there was a little bumblebee on the windowsill. Fans of the books realized how important these bees were, but in season 2, the viewers of the series will also be led on to the secret. I'm not going to spoil it, it is a pretty big part of the storyline, but what I will say is that the bees have a lot of significance for the family. We will get to see a very compromising moment. After acting very superior with Daphne and Simon when they got themselves into a pickle, Anthony won't be making the best decisions either. We will surely get to see him into a very compromising moment with Kate. The only question is, will we be the only ones to witness the moment. If you were worried that season 2 won't be as steamy as season 1, I can assure you that there is nothing to worry about. Anthony and Kate have a lot of passion between them, and we will see a lot of sizzling scenes play out on screen. They argue a lot, and they need to make up. It is going to make for great television. I hope Newton the Corgi will be around. Honestly, the character from the book that I am most hoping to see in the series is Newton. He's Kate, little Corgi, and he is impossible. He creates a lot of chaos and funny situations, and he is a lot of fun. The fact that he makes life even harder for Anthony is just an added bonus. I love the moments that Newton creates and he plays a big part and adds a lot to the story, so I really hope that they won't change that detail. We need to see a game of Pal Mall. This is a game that is really important to the Bridgerton siblings who are all very competitive and when you add Kate to the mix this gets even better. We need to see the mallet of death. There's just no way you can tell the story of Anthony and Kate without adding a game of Pal Mall. And fans aren't the only ones who feel this way. Julia Quinn, the author of the Bridgerton novels, has said that she asked Chris Van Dusen, the creator of Bridgerton, to add the game to season 2 and he promised to do so. Since Anthony and Hyacinth were discussing the game in the last episode of season 1, it does seem like we have hope to see the game play out soon. I can't wait. It's a brilliant moment between the siblings and it was an awesome moment between Anthony and Kate. We will find out more about Edmund Bridgerton. The father of the Bridgerton siblings and Violet's one true love, Edmund died when the children were young and it left a huge void in the family. His death left scars on all of his children, but it really affected Anthony badly. So we might learn more about Edmund and how he died during season 2. Sadly, the Duke won't 
won't be around for the next season. It has been confirmed that Reggie Jean Page, who played Simon Bassett, the Duke of Hastings, won't be returning for season two. While it is super sad and fans will miss Reggie very much, it isn't entirely surprising. In the books, Simon prefers to stay in the country during the season. Daphne will return to London to look out for her siblings, but Simon will not. Creators have confirmed that it doesn't mean that Daphne and Simon's relationship is over. It just means that the focus will shift onto the next Bridgerton sibling. Will Lady Whistledown be exposed? Season one has already revealed the identity of the mysterious gossip columnist Lady Whistledown, so fans know who she is, but the rest of the characters don't know her identity yet, so will the show expose her yet? I doubt it. Her reveal is a big part of later books, and if the rest of the characters find out this soon, then that might create a void in the story in later seasons. So my theory is that the show will show glimpses of her dealings and schemes, but without ever letting the rest of society in on who she is. But then, in the books, readers didn't know who she was until later either, and the show already shook that up, so we can't know for sure what they will do next. We might see more of Nigel Burbrook. In season one, Nigel Burbrook schemed to force Daphne into marrying him, and he almost succeeded too. Luckily, Violet was smart enough to save Daphne from that fate, or Anthony might have just had to kill him like he threatened. He was defeated and went away for a few episodes, but now he might be back for the new season in London. In the books, he is one of the suitors that came to visit Edwina. She's a sweet character, so she is friendly towards him, but in the books, he is mostly a harmless character that just doesn't have a lot in the way of brains, looks, or personality. Although I should mention that Daphne did knock him out in the books, but in the series, he is a little bit different. He doesn't have looks or brains or even personality either, but he isn't quite as harmless. He was pretty awful, and he almost even became very dangerous. So we will have to see what effect his return will have on the other characters around him, and how Anthony will act around the man who messed with his sister. Especially if that same man is now in the orbit of the love of his life and her sister. We all know how Anthony feels about family. Bridgerton might change a lot in season two. The focus of the show is changing, and we are getting new main characters and stories. But there are things that will never change. How great the show is, and how much fans love it. Thanks for watching.